Hello everyone, Mr. S here again. Should we sing a hello song? One, two, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see ya. Hello, hello, hello. So, I hope you're keeping well. I thought I'd share a story with you today. Monkey's got the book here for me safe. The story is called The Teeny Weeny Tadpole and it's all about this little tadpole growing up. When you're little sometimes there's there's some things you you can't do. You have you're not big enough yet or something like that. Um, but you will one day and um, the tadpole discovers there's a thing that he can't do when he's very little but as he grows up he's able to do it. Now, in the story, whenever you hear this sound boing, you could do a big froggy jump. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed the story and I'll see you again in a minute. The Teeny Weeny Tadpole by Sheridan Kane and Jack Tickle The Teeny Weeny Tadpole swam in and out of the lily pads. Splish splash! Hello, my busy little tadpole, said Mother Frog. It's a lovely day for splashing and leaping. Boing! Went Mother Frog high into the air. Flippity flop, she landed with a plop. I could do that, said Tadpole, and he tried to leap onto the lily pad. All he managed was a splish and a splash. Ma'am? Why can't I jump like you? asked Tadpole. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Mother Frog. You will. Just keep splishing and splashing. Tadpole swam off downstream. Take care, Tadpole, called Mother Frog. Look out for the big bad fish. Tadpole wiggled his way to the edge of the stream to splash among the flowers. He looked up and saw a woolly face with a smudgy nose. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Lem, said the woolly faced creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. You bet, said Lamb. Watch this. Boing! Went Lamb high into the air. Springity sprong, he landed with a bong. Oh, said Tadpole, I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Lamb. Soon you will. A few days later, Tadpole paddled downstream to where the violet tickled his tummy. He looked up and saw a twitchy nose and the largest pair of ears he'd ever seen. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Rabbit, said the twitchy nose creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. Can I jump? said Rabbit. Watch this. Boing! <coughs> Went Rabbit high into the air. Jumpity bump, he landed with a thump. Oh my, said Tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, oh, but you will, Tadpole, 
said Rabbit. Very soon you will. Several days later, Tadpole swam out to where the giant bulrushes wobbled in the wind. He saw a pair of bug eyes and two springy legs. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Grasshopper, said the bug-eyed creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. Of course, said Grasshopper. Watch this. Boing! <coughs> went Grasshopper high into the air. Hippity hop! He landed with a bop. Wow! said Tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Grasshopper. Very, very soon, you will. The next time Tadpole went exploring, he swam far out to where the stream widened and the water became clear. Tadpole looked down and saw a pair of huge, rubbery lips. Hello said Tadpole. Who are you? Hello, boomed the rubbery-lipped creature. I'm Big Bad Fish, and I eat tadpoles. <gasps> the Big Bad Fish chased Tadpole up and down and in and out of the weeds, getting closer and closer until... <gasps> Boing! <coughs> Tadpole leapt high into the air, higher than lamb, higher than rabbit, and higher than grasshopper. He leapt all the way home. Look, Mum! said Tadpole. I can jump, just like you. His mother smiled proudly. Of course you can, my little frog. Wow. I hope you enjoyed the story. Didn't the tadpole do well? It is jumping in the end. Well, it's that time again. I'm going to have to say goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you're keeping well. Let's sing our goodbye song. One, two, here we go, goodbye. Goodbye. Take care now.